Hello everyone, TechnoSleuth Craig Chamberlain here. We are moving forward with the Geek-tastic series where we talk about software so fantastic that geeks and non-geeks alike can't help but help themselves. That's right. Today we're going to move forward and we're going to talk about the OpenOffice software. OpenOffice is a replacement for Microsoft Office 2003 Professional. If you're used to the Office 2007 visual setup and you like the visual setup, this may not be a complete replacement for you because you won't get all those pretty icons, but uh, for Office 2003 and earlier, this is a fantastic piece of software. Now, OpenOffice has been around for quite a bit. It is an open source software. It is completely free for personal use. On the left-hand side, it describes all the pieces of software that are included. That includes the Writer, which is just like Microsoft Word, the Calculator, which is Microsoft Excel, Impress, which is Microsoft PowerPoint, Draw, which is Microsoft Publisher, Base, which is Microsoft Access, in math, if you're a physics or math teacher or elementary school teacher and you're trying to make complex looking equations, it'll allow you to create those equations and import them into Writer to create your own documents. Now, if you go to my website, www.pcmichiana.com, I just went ahead and put a link here for your convenience. You don't have to use it here. You can go straight to their site. And I have an open office suite that will redirect you to download.com. Just click download now, download the application and install it to its completion. And uh, once you've done that, you're going to be greeted with all your uh, icons, of course, just like anything else that you've installed in the open office, and you can select whichever one you want to run. I'm going to go over uh, the Word one real quick here. Uh, as you can see, the layout is just like Microsoft Word 2003. Essentially, it's a document writer, so I'm not going to go into too much detail. You can do all your tables and formatting, and uh, you're going to be amazed at how professional this software is. It'll take a little bit of getting used to if you're used to Microsoft Office 2003, but you know it doesn't have a $170 price tag associated to it, so you don't need to worry about paying for it. Uh, the Excel, obviously, you can tell it looks almost identical to the Microsoft Office 2003 Excel layout. Not as pretty, a little more simple, but hey, you know, we like simplicity here. At least I do. And uh, this will allow you to do all your graphs and uh, just about everything you can do with Microsoft Excel you can do with this. Um, of course, under the Microsoft Office Impress, we have uh, creating PowerPoint slides. You can click to add a new slide, double click. You can tell a lot of it is a lot just like uh, PowerPoint 2003. Under uh, Microsoft Office Base, which is just like Microsoft Access, you can create your tables. You can create your uh, whole new database. Uh, this isn't as advanced as Microsoft Access, and uh, but this is still fantastic. We have uh, Microsoft OpenOffice Draw, which is just like Microsoft Publisher, and uh, you can create your memos or newsletters or uh, whatever you usually use P uh, Publisher for. And lastly, there's, of course, OpenOffice Org Math, which allows you to create those complex equations, and you can import them into your Office documents and uh, make them look a little better. Now, if you look at the reviews, of course, OpenOffice has fantastic ratings. They've been growing uh, significantly since they started. It's one of the most popular pieces of software that's out there right now. Um, CNET editor rating, uh, 5 out of 5, and average user ratings, 4 out of 5. Uh, most people who complain about this software, it isn't exactly like Microsoft Word. But you got to lower your expectations a bit when you're using free software. And uh, the beautiful thing about this software also is all of them can be saved as uh, Microsoft Word documents. So you can actually save them as .docs. If you uh, go to File, Save As, and you click on the File dropdown, and you can scroll down, hey, I want to save it as a Microsoft Word 972000XP.doc file. So you're not limited to their file system. Also, you can export them uh, directly as PDF if you like press the PDF button right here. So they give you the options of literally integrating into all of Microsoft Office's document systems. And it will open all of Microsoft Office's document systems. So uh, if you receive an email from a friend or family member that is a .doc.xls.ppt, uh, uh, it will open all those and you can edit them. So that's pretty much all there is to it. You guys really should check out OpenOffice, uh, especially if you're looking for an open source alternative. And uh, don't forget to swing by my YouTube channel and my uh, website. And if you're at the YouTube channel, please leave reviews and ratings and comments. And don't forget to subscribe because it lets you uh, get the first look at all the videos that I release. Thank you again for stopping by, and I uh, hope this helps some of you guys out. Have a great day. Hope to see you again.